definition of what's a top bottle in Splinterlands? Well, I figured it out a little while ago, but I'm now currently ranked number one on this day, um, Tai with Weiwei. And so I went to top bottles and I noticed my bottles are showing up as some of the top bottles. So it's like if you're in, this was a good one against Dragon Rider. This person, he or she, they're consistently in the leaderboards. So that was that was definitely a good one. This was a good win against me. That was a really good win against me. This is me beating someone again. But um Yeah, so it looks like it's the bottles. The folks who are like in the top five or top ten when they win bottles or any bottles they are they partake in. Um so let me show you the one that I lost. This is this is the one I won. I won that one. Let me show you the one I lost and the one that I really enjoyed. Okay, so I really enjoyed the one with Dragon Rider, right? Because that person is like consistently in the top. So check this out. So um, since the reward rework, I have found that um, Renton Yodens have been tough. I'm just going to find this Dragon Rider bottle. So I thought it was essential, this, that this was the bottle, to go out and get Tide Biter. Great reward card. Let me show you the two reward cards. You should just go out and buy it right now with your DEC or your... Um, Reward cards, I think they're both epic and, uh, yeah, so I just went out and bought this card, maxed it out for silver, I think that's something you should do, and also this card, this one took a little bit longer to max out on my end using my SPS because um, it was a little bit more expensive, but I got on it quickly for Tidebiter, which works well. You know, anytime you have a Yodin match and, you you know, the go-to is to use Kelia, just throw this bad boy in. Um, and then if you have a match where water is not an option, um, you throw this neutral card in. So that's like the basic strategy on that that I find. Just max the card out and make sure the summoner you're using... Um, matches so the other top battle which was this one that i lost neo tom but let's pull it up from the top battle stage sorry page not stage what am i saying um okay so this one this person did win against me i did think they did a good job um they used that 11 mystic but really it was the evangelist that really broke me down but um, I like using the level 4 11 Mystic also. Initially, I was going to do Lorna Shine against this person. Um, and I didn't. I should have. But they did a good job in beating me on this one. Like, just take out the Trample Monster. Yep. That, that was it. Like, that, that made it like it was over. And then Evangelist, with the four hit damage, 
that's a great that's a great one yeah boom I was like it's over for me there's no way I'm getting this like that card is just yeah so evangelist did a really good job there um, that was a card that um, definitely made me lose that that game not so much the 11 mystic although I love 11 mystic I only had one magic monster um, which was Jin Roshanis. and really and truly um, on, on, on that fight I either should have just stuck with Kelia to go faster or um, I should have just rebutted with the Lorna Shine. Because, see, they saw, I think they saw I was playing with Lorna Shine. And because um, that's one of my favorite um, splinters to use. Uh, what else, say? The, the, the summoners I love to use. Um, so yeah, when I can't get Yoden, I just do a little Plato Ember Storm, and what I usually do is I look for other Blast Monsters in red that complement the speed to kind of Yoden back. You know, if it's only red is available, um, and the other person is using Yoden, um, Alright, that's for the magic spam. And I just recently started doing that. Like I was never a really good magic player, but it's actually essential. Like I felt like it's it's sort of like how I felt like Yodin was essential at one point, but now I realize like the last season it's not. There was a while that I couldn't break top fifty because I was only using Chaos Legion cards and I just gave in instead of renting Yodin and that helped me break the top fifty. But then in the last season rework, I noticed that um, I couldn't even rent Yodin. Like, the rental prices were ridiculous. Like, a thousand DC for rental. And to me, that just doesn't even make any sense. Um, so I got creative. And now that's I've turned to the kind of like a magic spam type uh, strategy. Yeah, so I will say... Kelia for Silver Yodin, if you're able to rent it, Lorna Shine are like my essentials. Other essential I usually use is Zintar Mortalis. Um, but recently I've been trying to just use Camila Sunglazer um, because when we go to modern format, Zintar won't be available anymore. But sometimes I get like, which seems to happen a lot, is poison matches and um, death is 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 uh, in the poison match, so that's why I think I you know I'm thinking I need to invest in a Camila Sunglazer because she will work in the modern match to pair her with our lovely reward card um, that does Heartclaw for those poison matches. So Camila would be good there. But yeah, it's, I kind of rambled on, but that's like my summary on top battles. Um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. So last season, um, I ranked 29. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to play till the last minute. Um, like the days leading up to the season, I have to work. <laughs> I do have a full-time job, so I wasn't able to. But I'm going to try again this season for leaderboard. So um, let's see. And leaderboard, I, I don't mean in general leaderboard because I can always do top 100. I mean more so the top 25. I would love to place in the top 25 and get one of these DEC rewards. And it's so funny because with the reward we work, I did get a chest with over 4,000 DEC, so it's sort of like, okay, why are you fighting to still get in the top 25 if you got a chest that had four, you know, over 4,000 DEC? I don't know. It's 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 like my little goal in Splinterlands um, that I hope to make um, top 25 in the Silver League. I, I think like once I make top 25 in the Silver League, I'll feel satisfied with my performance, um, and then 
move on to goalie or who knows because now that we're going to modern and wow things may switch up um i know collection power is being cut in half um so maybe i'll be automatically wanting to play in gold um if i have not by that time made the top 25 in the silver league so who knows we'll see things change in this game um all the time but for now my goal um, still is trying to get the top 25 at the end of the season. Like a lot of these guys, um, I have to say since the reward rework, there's a lot of names I'm not familiar with. And I don't know if they were playing in a different league before and um, now they came back. Like some of these names like Tilmea, uh, that person has always been playing a Melo M, that person has always been Fluidic Motion, OMG SP1. This looks like Weiwei's second account, which that just started showing up. Um, these two miss KGP, Dragon Rider, like this, I've never seen that name. Um, yeah, so there's some like new names, like even this person, the person that beat me, I don't, I don't remember that name. I'm, this name also, I saw it last season, I don't remember this person. This is a consistent top 25. This is consistent. You all know that. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's it's been a little bit more interesting too because and we all know this has been a consistent top 25 player. He's usually like number two um, ranked. Even when he gets number one, um, we all still think it's the other person, but he's ranked one and two. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of new names. So it's making it interesting now. Um, I guess like people came back to the game or whatnot, or maybe they were in a different league and the reward we work made them um, come back to playing in silver. Who knows? But um, yeah, so I'll keep you updated um, if I make top 25. I know I haven't been posting as much, and um, so I'm sorry for the ramble at the end. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed.